Number 15. Creepy Creature you're dragging Maine, just having a good time with your friends, when you spot this out the window. Posted by Calligram to the Chills Narrator subreddit, the strange creature caught the eye of this group as they were driving around at night, and then chaos ensued. As they're traveling at nearly 110 miles per hour, they race down the freeway. When the man in the passenger seat captures the roadside figure as they zoom past, it looks like a female ghost. Well, some in the comments suggest it's a cardboard cutout. Redditor IG Parish notes, This video is literally older than YouTube. Old or new, what do you think this could be? One thing's for sure, it's not a nightmare mirage you'd want to witness. Number 14. Chasing a Shadow some people get their kicks from chasing spirits. These two have their work cut out for them. Published to YouTube in November of 2019, the channel writes in Arabic, the video is for an adventurer named Hassan, who entered the house of a man named Krish who did very terrible things. The video shows two men wandering around an empty abandoned building. They keep hearing strange cries, and soon they'll see strange sights. Throughout the clip, the pair sees a shadow turning various corners. Whenever they chase after it, nothing is there. When one of the men turns his camera around to face him, a ghostly figure dressed in black appears over his shoulder. He cries out in fear, swinging around and trying to capture it, but it disappears. Later, they spot the figure sitting just outside an open window before it again vanishes. Are you brave enough to chase the shadowy Jin? And honestly, would you really want to catch her? Number 12. Below the City of Fog Ever wondered what lies beneath the world's largest and most historic cities? YouTuber IKS Exploration takes viewers on a trip, navigating the snaking tunnels under central London. Published in April of 2020, this fresh exploration of the deep shelters constructed during the 1940s. As IKS Exploration explains, seven shelters were built along the Northern Line. Many London residents wanted to shelter in London underground stations during the Blitz, resulting in these deep-level shelters, which weren't completed until 1942. The IKS exploration team takes a look inside these shelters. The descent into the London underground is dizzying, going on for ages. The crew finally arrives at the large shelters deep within the belly of London. Below they find men and women's toilets, and as they explore they can hear the train running parallel, with its quite frightening thunder. Plenty of long empty hallways lead to darkness, while the team explores endless crawl spaces and watery tubes. At some point they're wadding up to their knees in water. Now this is a place that is seriously scary. Number 11. Ladder Below If you find a ladder leading to places unknown, would you descend it? According to this YouTuber, it's a sheer 100 foot drop into nothing. That nothing is inside a dark mining cave. Water is heard dripping ceaselessly, while the dark tunnels cut deep into the guts of the mountain. During their exploration at various points, the crew reaches large wide open caverns with rocks piled up the walls. At other times, the cliff edges drop steadily into pits of darkness. The crew walks along mineshaft tracks into the tunnel and climbs up large, crumbling rocks to what they believe is the peak of the mountain. There, a crevice opens to the sky, letting sunlight in. At last, they arrive at the ladder descending below. YouTuber B310 Tyrone writes, It was bad enough watching it from the safety of my couch, let alone actually peering over into the various abysses. Now imagine climbing down this rusty old ladder. The ladder disappears into the darkest pit you can imagine. Think a complete absence of light. In adjusting the camera light you can see the bottom, which indeed is about 100 feet down. What's down there you wonder? We'll never find out. Though the crew debates whether or not to climb to the bottom, there are more nays than yays. Would you have the stomach to descend? There's a chance you might discover firsthand whatever picked that bone clean. 
Number 10, Poltergeist Chaos. This entry comes from Captain Troy 2016 posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit. Captain Troy is wondering what in the world is going on in this TikTok video. Originally posted to the platform by James Fitzpatrick in November of 2019. The clip shows the electricity in a security room and break room going absolutely bonkers. The overhead lights are flickering on and off, as are the lights from what appear to be walkie-talkies on their chargers. You can hear the printer restarting repeatedly. In a nutshell, it looks like absolute chaos. As the man enters the break room, noting that his colleague is out on patrol, and that this is some crazy poltergeist action going on. Upon hearing a mention of himself, the poltergeist is triggered, slamming a door shut from across the room. This causes our friends to flee as any sane person would. What's going on here? Redditor I am the Mind Trip explains his theory that this might be a close encounter of the third kind. Others believe this is 100% a haunting. Redditor Asagatter likens the scene to the lab from Stranger Things. Do you have a straightforward explanation for what happened to the electricity in this video? Neither do we. Number 9. Strange Man Published to YouTube by John Birmingham in June of 2008, the YouTuber writes, 23-month-old Rowan was outside in his baby pool at dusk when he looked inside the house to see a strange man. Rowan tells us what he saw, and during filming he actually sees the man again. Will baby Rowan figure out how to deal with his sixth sense without Bruce Willis there to guide him? In the video, the YouTuber explains that it was 8pm when the young boy spotted a man in the window of the family's home and wouldn't stop staring. When they went inside, the boy was still watching the dining room where he'd seen the man and wouldn't stop staring at that one spot. He said there was a man there wearing black pants, a red shirt, and with big hair. In the video, little Rowan keeps saying, man was while hitting the refrigerator repeatedly. As they question him more about the man, it seems that Rowan sees him. He points into the dining room saying, what's the man doing in there? They later discovered a piece of furniture in the dining room called a unity carving, carved from a single piece of wood and handcrafted in Ghana. They believe a spirit may be attached to this piece. If so, what does it want with baby Rowan? Number 8. Reactor We all know what happened to the Chernobyl reactor in 1986, and yet many adventures Vita enter the still highly radioactive area of Ukraine. Here is just one of these explorations, published to YouTube by Abandoned Explorer in August of 2019. The explorers entered Reactor 5 in order to obtain views of the Reactor 4 from the roof. The crew walks past an enormous cooling tower, which was built to cool Reactors 5 and 6. After the disaster, these reactors were never put into operation, so the water tower was never used. As they enter the water tower, a thunderous sound reverberates. There's a sense of foreboding. As it turns out, that was their tour guide Igor throwing a rock which sounded like a jet inside the water tower's cone. Igor says that when you scream in the tower, the sound stays there. Then they head to reactor number 5. The cranes still stand around the building, and several outbuildings lie around it. Several of these cranes actually collapsed from disuse. At the top of reactor number 5, they can see the water tower they were in earlier. After climbing up a shaky ladder, the crew is on the tippy top of the reactor, with trees growing all around. From there, they have a perfect view of reactor number 4. The incredible skeleton of this site spreads out like an eerie nuclear graveyard. This is what happens when such power is let loose. Nothing left but collapsing buildings and radiation. Number 7. The Cavern of Lost Souls Published to YouTube in September of 2019, the crew explores this unbelievable junkyard cave. Located in Wales, the Cavern of Lost Souls is an abandoned mine that serves as a sort of time capsule of past eras. The flooded mine is a relic of the area's extinct mining industry. 
The entrance lies a few feet in water. As pathways that snake underground break apart under each step of the tunnel's crumbling rock face, after entering the flooded passage, the cavern drops 100 feet, creating a strenuous descent. Next, the team must crawl along a narrow passage to the primary cave. When the mining industry went by the wayside, the cavern thereafter served as a dump for old vehicles, along with other large household devices, such as TVs and refrigerators. Mounted across a large underground lake, this dump pile is captured in the light beam from a small opening above, which creates an even more unsettling ambiance in the darkness of the underground. The crew climbs down from the nearly sheer rock face. Previously, they discovered a rusty old sword in the dump pile. This time around, their third time exploring the car cave, they sent a drone underwater. Through the murky water, the camera captures a big oil drum, stacks of tires, loads of discarded metal, and the bodies of vehicles. It looks like an underwater lost and found. Various YouTubers point out a creepy mask in the water at 25 minutes 12 seconds and what looks like someone wearing a robe on a pile of debris. Apart from those unusual sightings, do you spot anything nightmarish in this underground cavern? Would you be brave enough to venture? Or would you fear what you might find? Number 6. The Broadcast Posted by News Alvation Zero to the True Creepy subreddit. According to the Redditor, this eerie end of times video was produced sometime in the 70s and was intended to be broadcast by the last surviving employee at the CNN network, leaked by a former intern in 2015 after a 2009 internship. The creation of the broadcast is believed to have been at the behest of Ted Turner, who founded the news network. Redditor Alex Ashpool gives a shout out to Local 58, which features bone chilling videos of this nature. Although they're fiction, the fact that true broadcasts were prepped for sinister events provides some credence to the channel. While standing alone, the video isn't that creepy. It could be any orchestral performance after all. Lightning Beauties note that this is the song being played when the Titanic is sinking in Titanic makes it all the more chilling. Number 5. Abandoned Funeral Home YouTuber Steve Ronan's philosophy must be to go big or go home. After all, if you're going to urban explore something, an abandoned funeral home is top tier when it comes to fear. Ronan and his crew explored this abandoned funeral home in the middle of nowhere, Alabama and published their findings on the channel in May of 2020. The home was built in the early 20th century and was turned into a family-run funeral home in the 1970s. Ronan writes, Now boarded up and forgotten, the old funeral home sits neglected. Let's take a look inside. Before they even enter the home, they find a rustled old casket beneath a fallen tree outside. The first room Ronan comes to appears to be the embalming room, with a row of bottles with various liquids inside lined up on a shelf. You can just imagine this creepy medical room in action during its heyday. Inside the main house, the place has obviously been ransacked. A piano sits against one wall, various keys missing, tons of clothes throughout the rooms, papers scattered down the hallway, and yet more caskets in one room. Ronan finds lots of furniture and possessions left in the upstairs bedrooms, which have been turned topsy-turvy assumedly by scavengers. Even an ancient computer is tossed aside there. Ronan enters the garage, the casket jackpot. Some are stacked on shelves, others out for display. In a second garage, they find the old hearse with creepy curtains hanging in the windows and a large back end to carry the caskets. I definitely get bad vibes from this spine tingling sight. Would you be able to stomach it? Number 4. Phantom Workout this spirit hasn't given up his New Year's resolutions quite yet, posted to the creepy video subreddit by Crisy. This YouTube video caught a ghost in action on the exercise machines at the park. Even stranger, this ghost is working out in the darkness of the night. 
No living human is standing near the machine, and yet the machine is enthusiastically pumping iron, as though someone invisible is getting his lift on. Just goes to show even phantoms can work out apparently. Number 3. What happens when the former homeowner that now haunts your place doesn't like the way you redecorated? Posted to the Ghosts subreddit by RAFF underscore C, the Redditor says this is a new place, and it seems that whatever spirit resides here is malevolent, not friendly. The footage shows what looks like an office, a sitting area with a couple office chairs, some desks, a coffee table. No one is there. At least, no one visible. Suddenly, the glass coffee table breaks, shattering in upon itself. If not a paranormal event, how and why did this happen? A Redditor suggests that a ghost simply didn't like the ugly table. Others in the comments take a practical route, suggesting the open drawer beneath the table may have stressed the center of gravity of the glass, causing it to shatter. Some suggest a pre-existing deformity could have caused it, a drastic change in temperature, or perhaps moving the table had weakened it. Nurse Juno agrees, writing, Tempered glass like that is known to sometimes shatter randomly. Malin, however, points out that it's not tempered glass, but rather a big glass plate. What do you think? Was this event natural? Or are there just as many mischievous ghosts in the world? Number 2. Giraffe Moving It's a rare occasion when you see paranormal evidence this undisputable. Posted to YouTube by Chris Hunkowski in September of 2010, this movement in a haunted house is cited as reportedly some of the best evidence of paranormal activity. Chris writes that this video was captured at his father's house in Southern California. During his childhood, Chris's father had encountered paranormal activity, which adults had brushed off as his imagination. Chris writes, Doors would open, lights would turn on, things would move, he even saw an apparition of a lady walk into his room. His father moved away but, after a couple decades returned, and the unexplainable events continued, which is when Chris and his brother stepped in. Using night vision cameras, they captured a 30-pound ceramic giraffe statue move on its own. Over several minutes around 3 a.m., the witching hour. In the clip, the giraffe is seen tucked behind the armoire. It starts to edge its way out slowly but surely. It wobbles a little as if it's being pushed by some invisible force. YouTuber Daily 500 of Bull writes, If you look closely, you can see it turn its head. The footage appeared on A&E's My Ghost Story, to which Nineveh Romero adds, This scared me as a child so much that I had to throw out my plushy giraffe. I have a feeling a lot of stuffed animals are going in the dumpster after this one. I've got a challenge for you. Since you've made it this far, why not like this video and hit subscribe in the next 5 seconds? Because we upload a new scary video every week. If you're curious about what I look like in real life, then go to my Instagram at DylanIsChillinYT and tap that follow button to find out. Number 1. Midnight Snack even ghosts get hungry for a midnight snack. Published to YouTube by Petrifying Occurrences in April of 2019, this CCTV footage caught an invisible entity raiding a convenience store. First, two separate packages are seen falling from a shelf. Okay, maybe they were just positioned precariously, but what happens next cannot be explained away. A refrigerator door springs open, and something falls out. Just when you think the ghost is satisfied with his mischief, another package falls from the shelf. Then the spirit seems to show itself. A faint shadow figure is barely visible, crossing the length of the store right into the front of the camera. Some in the comments think this is surefire ghost footage. Another suggests, that's just the Flash doing some shopping. Ghost or no, I wouldn't want to be on night shift at this gas station. Thanks for checking out this video. Be sure to subscribe because we upload new countdowns every Tuesday and Saturday. Or if you're still not convinced, here are some of our other videos that I think you'd like. Enjoy!